Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of two-digit by one-digit multiplication. This is standard 3.4G in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 28 of the 2024 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so the teacher bought eight boxes of pencils, right? And so if we want, we can draw a strip diagram to kind of represent that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a long bar, cut it in half, cut my half in half. Now I've got four, and then cut my four, each of those in half, that's going to give me eight. So I've got my eight pencil boxes here. And then each box contains 48. All right, so I've got eight sets of 48. How many pencils did the teacher buy? So if we're thinking this is a strip diagram, this is a part, part, whole, right? I've got eight parts. Each part has got 48 in there. Here's my question. What's my total? I'm missing the whole. So if I really wanted to, I could set up really long repeated addition like this but hopefully you're looking at this and say wow that's a lot of fours and a lot of eights i've got to recount to make sure i've got enough of them that's probably not the most efficient thing to do the most efficient thing to do would be two digit by one digit multiplication that's what we worked on in third grade so let me show you some ways that we can do that 48 times eight all right, and then I'm going to do it two different ways. I want to show you how they both work. All right, so this is going to be what we call partial products breaking apart. And this will just be what we call the standard algorithm. It's just the regular way to do it. If you ask your mom or dad for help, this is how they'll probably line it up for you. All right, so I'll do these side by side. So you see, you get the same answer both ways. Both answers are perfectly fine. So what the partial products does is really it takes your top number, right, your top factor, 48, and it breaks it apart by place value, okay? And it reimagines it as a 40 and an 8, because 48 is 40 plus 8, right? So what you do there is then you multiply. You're going to multiply the single digit by each of these factors separately. So let's do the first one, right? So 8 times 8. Well, you got to know your 8s. And so there's many different strategies, but I'll just assume everyone has their facts memorized because that's what we're supposed to do in third grade. We're supposed to memorize our facts up to 10 by 10. So 8 times 8 is 64. When we do our partial products, we just go ahead and write it just like that. Partial products. 8 times 8 is 64. Now, on the standard algorithm side, we do it slightly differently. We still need to multiply this 8 times this 8. We always start with the ones place times the ones place, okay? But we think of each place value as a separate spot, right? So I'm going to kind of draw this line right here, separating each of these place values. And so 8 times 8 is 64. If you look at 64, there's only one digit in the ones place. Okay, that's a 4. So we're going to write that in the 1's place since we're dealing with the 1's place. But that 6 is in the 10's place. The 6 and the 64 is in the 10's place. So you actually bring that up and you place that over the 10's place. In this case, it's a 4 in the 10's place. We'll come back to it later. Now we deal with this 8 times 4. But remember, this 4 is not really a 40. It's not really a 4. It's a 40. So we can think what well, 8 times 4 is 32, and then when we multiply by a multiple of 10, we just add a zero at the end because it's 10 times bigger. So instead of 32, it's 32 with a zero, 320, and you can just add it up, okay? What we can do on this side is we can say, well, eight times four is 32, and then we had that extra six, so you have to add six to 32, and you don't have any numbers left, so you end up writing both digits down, ends up with the same answer of 38, and that is our answer B.